Historic win. Kate and I not only breaking barriers for women and weightlifting, but when it comes to battling mental health, the 22 year old has said without the diagnosis, she wouldn't be where she is today. It was insane. I woke up at 6.50 in the morning to watch her. Brady Vibert still beaming with pride after watching his big sister Kate Nye nab the silver medal in weightlifting at the Tokyo Olympics. It was just a, a euphoric feeling watching her win. and uh, I didn't know what to expect, but I believed in her, and then she ended up getting the silver. And uh, one of the happiest moments of my life watching her do that. Brady says his sister, who attended Rochester Adams, started as a gymnast, transitioned into CrossFit, and then took on weightlifting, where she surpassed all expectations. In just five years, the Berkeley native won the silver with the best weightlifting results for the USA in more than two decades. Brady just wished he was able to congratulate her in person. She said she was just feeling on top of the world. I know she didn't go to bed till like 4 a.m. that day. Um, probably a little bit of jet lag, but mostly adrenaline, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah. And so she was she was feeling good. I was I've just been so happy for her. Also because Kate showed courage by sharing her battle with bipolar disorder and ADHD. And she proved struggles with mental health did not prevent her from chasing her dreams. Until recently, it's not been a really like known subject about um, like caring for athletes and their mental health until the Simone Biles incident. Yeah. So she's kind of trying to raise, raise her awareness for that as well. But right now, Brady says they plan to celebrate. Kate is on her way to meet her husband and mom and dad in Hawaii with the rest of the USA weightlifting team. I get to see her next on like August 7th and in person I'm going to tell her how much I love her and how proud of her I am of her. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much I'm going to wait to do that in person. So sweet and supportive. Her brother says Kate is getting ready to attend a gala with her family and her husband and USA weightlifting team in Hawaii and then she will be heading home to Berkeley. Monica. Well, he is a great brother and we're so happy for Kate and she's making us all proud and we look forward to hearing uh, what's next for her. She certainly has a powerful message for everyone. She does and that's one thing she wants to be able to continue to speak about mental health and bipolar disorder and other mental health issues to just keep the conversation going because she will admit and it's been written about her is that at first when she got her diagnosis she had a misconception about mm -hmm. mental health and and the struggles and now she says she's so happy because she doesn't think where, as I said, she'd be where she is today. Yeah, and we can, need to continue to have that conversation. Thanks, Taryn.